What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Asakoa, the one who never knows best, bringing you some more Dragon Ball Fighters and ranked matches, and hopping back into things today with a trusty, tried and true team of 18 Bardock and Trunks. And I was once again hoping to actually run into a Lab Coat player. Funnily enough, this player, Kepler's Beauty, some of you might already be familiar with her, actually has Lab Coat 21 as her banner, but isn't actually playing Lab Coat. And it's funny that I run into Lab Coat constantly until I'm actually looking for her for the sake of just seeing what it's like to fight her while not playing her. That being said, I've played Kefla a lot in the past. Matches usually tend to go back and forth. The last few times we've played, I've had the upper hand, but I've been in a bit of a slump lately, so we'll see if I can actually win today. Oh, that was supposed to be 2 1 for him. No tech on the blue bombo, I'll take that. Da, 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 da. Into the knockdown. We find the hit here, but. I don't have any assist to extend, and I won't be able to kill, so we're just going to do the same. Actually, you know what we'll do? Thank you. You know, even though Android 21 has basically the same exact move that 18 does when it comes to... Hold on. Is this enough for the kill? If I level 2 with Trunks, it might be. We're going to try. Trunks sucks, though, so maybe not. Oh, please, push it. That should be enough. Push it, push it, to the limit, limit, give it all you can give it, we're in it to win it, oh yeah. Anyway, um, even though 21 basically has its exact same move uh, in 2-2-S, it does not feel, like, I feel like I don't use it the same way, even though I'm trying to. Also, I always try to reflect that Larry, and you just can't. For some reason, Kefla can 2-H into a low, and you cannot reflect it. That's mad stupid that that jails to me, but it is what it is. Watch your toes. Watch your toes. Can't kill here, so we're just going to do this. Call EX17. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like I get way more mileage and way more usage out of 18's barrier than I do with Android 21, but maybe it's also just the teams that I'm playing. Because I feel like I also really make great use of like Bardock assists with 18 when I'm using Barrier. And I do it with Trunks as well, but I don't know. Maybe... I don't know. Uh, I, we should probably just safe jump here, huh? Because it's UI Goku. And she gets hit by the safe jump. Level 1, level 1, and that'll do it. That'll do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. And we take the first game pretty convincingly, pretty decisively. I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity. I like where this is going. By the way, just like the last video, which you guys are probably able to tell because the setting, environment, t shirt, bandana, everything is exactly like the same. This is re being recorded right now, live on my channel at twitch.tv, well, live on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Lotus is core. Link is always in the description down below. If you guys don't come out to the streams, you definitely should because you're missing out a lot of content over here, a lot of variety content as well. Also, you guys are missing out on viewer battles and like exclusive stuff that I do on stream that I don't do uh, on YouTube. So you should definitely swing by. Da, 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 da. Cross up, hold that, thank you. I debated for a second whether or not I wanted to extend that with Trunks Assist, but I opted not to in the end. We are going to land and call 24 h though. Thank you. I'll take that. I'll take that. We kind of dropped the rejump there, but I'll take it. Um, I'll level 3 here. We built enough to have four bars. I don't think it would have been enough with Trunks level 2 to kill. It definitely wouldn't have been enough with Trunks level 2 to kill. And it's UI Goku, so again, I'm just going for safe jump. But, uh... Oh god, it's okay. No, please! Oh, Gogeta. I'm surprised they were able to call Gogeta assist there, actually. Um, okay, are they gonna bring in Kefla for the level 3? No. Hold that. I was definitely holding up. And they left a gap there for me. I should bring in Bardock. Oh, I accidentally vanished. I wanted to bring in Bardock for a Z change because I wanted to preserve the 18 health and the assist. 
Um, but I guess that's just not gonna work out the way I intended to, because I fat fingered. I'll spark. Thank you, fun hit with the super dash. Um, I'll do 17, okay. Can I build the third bar here for the kill? I should be able to, right? Um, bum. Yeah, easily. Easily. Oh! I messed up. It's okay. It's it's not okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's not okay. It's okay. Did you talk about my mother? My mother is your mother, okay? Okay. Why isn't she budging? Why is she accepting all this chip damage? I would say Android 18, Destructive Disc is actually one of the highest chip damage moves in the game, so. Whoops, messed that up. For her to just sit there and not even like try to reflect them, let alone. Rekka into. What? Wait, is that gonna miss? Okay, okay. Ooh, for a second there, I was like, wait a minute. Uh, but yeah, for her to just sit there and accept the chip damage, I'm like, okay, you're just making this easier for me, but that was, uh... <laughs> Look, I, uh... <laughs> but anywho, um, if we win on two more games, that should be our rank up back to Zeno, and we'll see if we can actually maintain it. But uh, with that being said, I'll be back when I find my next match. Well, and it's looking like it's going to be a run back against Kefla's Beauty here yet again. We won that first set pretty decisively. Uh, it was very one-sided. Um, but let's see if we can, you know, continue that on. If we do win this set 2-0 again, that should be our rank up back to Zeno. Um, so that'll be nice. And then we once again get to test our fates and, uh, you know, our metal and hopefully try to maintain it. Oh! My berry didn't last long enough to protect me from that and Trunks got clipped by, I think, the assist? Or was it the jab? I'm not sure. Whoopsie. I tried to wake up barrier just 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 to try and I probably shouldn't have. I might be able to die here actually. It's Gogeta, so lots of bar, lots of damage being done into Keflasis? No, actually. Dun, dun, dun. Alright, I should get 18 out of here. Which I'll do safely from a DHC instead of a Z change, just to be extra sure that I do it right. Uh you know what? I actually bring in trunks. We've got some bar. We've got assists, we got the Bardock assist there. So I'm just gonna safe jump into EX Flip Mix, which she's probably gonna spark, but. It's fine. She got hit, actually. So actually... Hmm. It's good that we have to kill, but her still having sparking is still dangerous for us, but we do have the character lead, so it's fine. Um, I would like to get Bardock in here at my earliest convenience, though, because I actually don't want to lose him as a character. And then we lose neutral, which is dangerous. Which is dangerous. You actually can't reflect this, right? Yeah, I wasn't gonna hold that. You can't reflect that, I think, off level 3. I actually bring an 18 here. For the EX17 pressure. Went for the 2M there, that's a dead cat fluff. Alright, now I know that it looks like we have a huge lead now. But frankly... I will never under underestimate the power of a full health UI Goku with spark and sparking and limit break. This is what I was actually afraid of when I got the kill on Gogeta. I was hoping she would spark just to get that resource off the table because this is still a very possible comeback for UI Goku. That being said though, got a little tricky there with the uh, overhead lariat calling the assist behind me. Thank you! Played that pretty carefully. Played that pretty slick, I'm not gonna lie. Whoops. Okay, well, that went about as bad as it possibly could have. By Trunks? Oh no, that didn't hit Trunks! Okay, okay, it's not the end of the world. That's, that's fine, that ain't no problem. Ain't nothing but a little bit of straightening. Ain't nothing but a little bit of straightening. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Shit, we win. <laughs> Ain't no thing, ain't no thing but a chick wang. 
know what I'm saying? Got on, got on. We take the first game over Kefla's beauty. <laughs> oh, so I ain't got on. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never scared. Where, where the money bone crusher? Where the money bone crusher? I ain't never scared. What? I ain't never. Y'all know about it. You're too young. You're too young. Yo, Rambler with the thousand bits. Thank you very much. Lucky is good. Hey, we take those. We definitely take those. And thank you very much. That was very generous of you. Good job. Thanks. I appreciate it. You know, I do my best. I tend to be pretty shit at this game, but you know, I do good when I do. Boomer, what you mean? I'm not a boomer. My chat's over here talking shit. She not gonna rematch? Okay. I was just saying, my chat over here talking trash to me and calling me old. You're right, but you don't gotta say it. Knocked down. Caught our mashing. I kind of waited there because I half expected a DP. She didn't do it, uh, but we were able to ID and find the hit there. Spark for me? No, no spark. Fine by me. Fine by me. Down goes Gogeta. In a very similar situation to the last game, uh, but better. Um, where Gogeta went down without spending the sparking, so... That could spell trouble for me later. Yo, Kefla's JM is crazy. Holy super dash. Wait, what the fuck? Ooh, they definitely wanted a uh, nice 2H. Uh, dash up 5M and got a 6M there. That sucks. Had that happen to me on multiple occasions. I'm sorry, Bardock. That's my bad. Called you at a bad time. I saw the assistant and still called you out. All right, we're going to bring in Trunks here. We have a bar and a half, so that's fine by me. We don't have the Bardock assist, but I do get the safe jump here. But since I usually go overhead, I'm going to go low here for the 2M. And it actually finds its mark. And that's going to be dead Kefla. Okay, very similar to the last game. Full health, sparking, limit break, UI Goku with five bars. Nearly five and a half. But we have basically a full health team practically. And some are sparking this. Time. That button will never cease to amaze me, by the way. That button will never cease to amaze me. No empty van. Oh wait, they're not in sparking. I am. Jesus Christ, UI Goku buttons. Is this a reset of some sort? No, it is not. I've never seen that combo before. Okay. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Trunks has taken a decent amount of... Well, Trunks has taken a, a chunk of damage. We have not scratched UI Goku and 18 is dead. Uh, so I'm going to start playing this a bit more carefully. I don't want to take too many risks. And throw things away. Alright, we find the hit with the Trunks Assist. Convert that into a full combo. Got it at the Force of Sparking out. Was I really negative there? Damn. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Okay, this is bad. They don't have a lot of bar though, so... Started holding 2 out attack, and now it looks like I mashed! That reset was extremely uncalled for though, by the way. I feel like they were really just trying to flex on me for what reason, I don't know, but... Little dash out there into the full combo. Level 3, okay. It's UI Goku, so you know the rules. It's UI Goku, so you know the rules. I went for a Dragon Rush, and that's why I got hit. They did not twitch my flip. I landed, and I... My two just got counter hit there. Damn it. <sighs> the UI Goku Mash won in the end. UI Goku Mashing won in the end. God fucking damn it. And this is what I'm saying, man. Because you can really... I, I will never count this character out. Because you can just party and just wild out. And he's got huge buttons. Still re got really powerful mix. Has the EX flips and shit. Has plus on frame. Uh, plus on block. Uh, plus frame moves on block. 
a very scary character. Does a shit ton of damage with and without Liberate Break, but especially with it. So, yeah, I, we were in a much better position this game than we were in the last game. But it, it, at the end of the day, it is still UI Goku. And people can say whatever they want about him being like normalized now. And I agree, he has been normalized, but I still think he's absolutely top tier. So absolutely one of the most powerful and obnoxious characters in the game and functions on any point um, at, at any position in the team and can pretty much fit on any team. Um, and it sucks too because it all started with like that one fucking jab beating my jump in with trunks where she mashed 5L while I was coming down with an overhead and it, it anti-ered me because UI Goku just does UI Goku shit. There's no fucking way. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> well, by 18. No, they did not extend it at all. Alright, well, we're gonna spark here. Bum, 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 bum. Try to wake up mashing. Or was that a backdash? I definitely saw movement of some kind. I didn't see the counter hit though, so I don't think it was actually a button. Or maybe they tried to, to micro dash out. Either way, I saw movement. They got hit. We take that. Down goes the Gogeta. No spike on the table for either of us, though. So I feel much more confident in this one than I did in the last match. You guys know, I talk about it all the time. How much stock I put into... God damn it. How much stock I put into... What the fuck? The mashing and the resetting is insane right now. How much stock I put into Sparky. That resource is incredibly powerful. And as long as my opponent still has it, I'll never feel safe with the lead. No lead ever feels safe as long as your opponent has sparking. Uh, at least for me. And this game has gone out of its way on multiple occasions to try to make it easier for players to make comebacks. So. I probably should have brought in Trunks, but I wanted 18 for the mix. So. I did it again. I accidentally double tapped it. But it's fine. We got the hit, so. It worked out, but here we are again with the solo UI Goku with even more bar this time, but no sparking, no sparking. Um, so that's actually a good thing. I feel more confident about this one than I did in the last one. You have to die. I want you to know I hate you and you have to die now. I'll do it. It did something. It didn't look like a 2H though. Either way, it gets counter hit by the raw tag. Good block. Oop, tried to mash. I dropped the side switch. Super dash for me. No? Okay. Why didn't I 2H that? I literally sat there and dared her to 2H and she did and I didn't budge. I jumped back instead of forward. Caught me in the middle of a key blast. Lariat. Lariat. I tried to do a jump light and got a fucking 2 and 4 L. I'm sad. Vanish? No. Nope. And we take things 2-1. Okay, there we go. Ah, <sighs> man. Lotus, can you please? Thank you. Look, look, look. It's UI Goku, man. It's UI Goku. This character is a problem character for me. This is one of those characters I've struggled against, okay? All that matters at the end of the day is that we did end up taking the set. That's us taking things 2-1 in this set, 2 on the last set, 4-1 total. That's as good a place as any to wrap up today's video. Uh... We weren't able to get back to Zeno because I did lose that one set in the middle in game number two. But it is, or that one match in the middle in game number two. But it is what it is. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this video with a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all this content up that I bring you. With all that being said, that's pretty much off today. Remember, let's get happy to swing the bat. Later.